So okay. tell us a little bit about your family as well. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have uh, I have two daughters, and they're uh, I don't know young professionals right now. And Sarah uh, just had lunch with her yesterday, so she's getting married oh, that's in awesome. June. Yeah. Yeah. So on Father's Day. On Father's Day. Yes. So that's exciting. So all the wedding plans, and you know, we really like her fiance. So. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So and. And then Madeline, uh, Maddie just broke her leg oh. skiing. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, yeah. She lives in Colorado Springs and actually had just moved back in with us. Uh, and then she broke her leg oh. uh, and her right leg. So, but she's a high school English teacher and just loves it. It's a good fit. You Wonderful. Know, you want that bent for your kids. So we have one daughter that's a nurse and one that's a teacher. Fantastic. So. Uh, Sally and I, we've got our 30th wedding anniversary coming up this year. Oh, awesome. And so, I don't know, we're, we're excited. It's, it's been good. Excellent. Yeah. When, when is your anniversary? It's uh, May 9th. May 9th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, awesome. you, you wanted to make sure I got that right date. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> good job. You did excellent. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. you, thank, you. Excellent. thank you. Yeah. So, we talked a little bit about uh, EMI. And so, tell us a little bit more about what they do. What is, what is EMI's, like, okay. what do they do? We are a relief and development ministry. So we're taking design professionals, and those are architects and engineers, mm -hmm. uh, surveyors, on short-term mission trips. And we're using those gifts and talents uh, to expand the kingdom. Okay. So 95 or 99 percent of our work's overseas, but we did start doing some projects here in the U.S. In fact, okay. this week we have a project going on at Lake of the Ozarks. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. they're doing a campus for a New Tribes Mission. Okay. Which is now, I think, Ethos 360. Okay. The ca yeah. name, name keeps changing. It does. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like Campus Crusade crew. Sure, yes. sure, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And so, so if, uh, well, I know, for instance, we have a relationship with Bungalow Hospital. You've yes. done something with them. But, but basically, if a missions organization has an architectural need, right? then EMI, they would potentially partner with EMI to come in and do it. So, correct. Yeah, what, correct. what are, so give me an example, I guess, of what that might look like. Uh, you mentioned Bongalow. Sure. I have not been to Bongalow myself, but uh, uh, EMI has many times. Sure. And probably half of my work in the last five years has been healthcare. Okay. So, uh, a lot of hospitals. A lot such. of hospitals yeah. or hospital related, you know. Uh, I'm still kind of involved with a hospital in Angola. Okay. Um, keeping in touch with actually a missionary right now that's down there. So, oh, I did, this is really cool, seminary for this vineyard church. Huh. In Kenya. In Kenya. In Kenya, just a couple years ago. So they built a seminary. Yes. Yeah, awesome. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that, and that was for all of kind of East Africa. Okay. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yes, <laughs> I thought you'd like that. <laughs> yeah, but you did the whole, you did all the, so what, what exactly did you guys do for that? Uh, not a huge site uh -huh. and a little bit of a challenging site. So, I mean, it was, you know, classrooms, dormitories, library, you know, uh, you know, cafeteria, all of that. It's, you know, kind of a one-stop shop. So once they're there on campus, it was out in the country. It was uh, close to Nairobi uh, on the west side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So, okay. So, so when you do that, really, really, where EMI is coming in is these these missions facility. They have to have facilities to operate, and so, how, how does EMI sort of take that burden off for them, or, or how does that work? Well, so we're bringing in kind of consultants, okay, you know, coming in from the west or and nationals too. So we have a blended team. Okay. And we're. So you had Kenyans on your team when you were in Kenya? Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Good. And that, that's the best fit. Yeah. In fact, half of our team on that trip was Kenyan. Okay. And I can't, it was like the ideal team. That you know, great. we had a landscape architect. We had somebody from Kenya Power and Light. Okay. You know, working there, similar to Kansas Power and Light. Sure, but, sure. Uh, you know, uh, a structural engineer that came in, you know, so we're, we get to know each other. We're sharing our testimonies on the front end, but you know our main work is really trying to advance the kingdom, uh, advance their ministry, 
uh, down on paper to really get them going. And so we're, we're asking a lot of questions, we're doing a lot of fact-finding, we're collecting data, uh, we're surveying the site, uh, all within about, you know, a 10-day timeline. On yeah. there. So we're taking, you know, a project timeline, you know, from building to start. So we're, we're on the front end. We're kind of after that sure. vision casting. Yeah. You know, and so we're doing design work, and we end of our 10 days or so, we're presenting the ministry with, here's some possibilities. You know, yeah. here's a rough cost estimate. You know, here's what it'll look like. And here's the PowerPoint that you can start talking about this. Yeah. And then we come back to the States, and then an intern and I, and maybe another uh, co lead, you know, kind of uh -huh. wrap up the project. And then at the end of the semester, uh, we give that back to the ministry. Okay. You know, this is. Uh, so architectural plans or. Yeah. Yeah. Plans, drawings, fundraising packages, sure. computer fly throughs of what this looks like. So, yeah. you know, that's that's our gift back. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I know this is expensive stuff, right? This could be super expensive on the front end. And so so how does EMI sort of lower the cost of that for the for the for the ministries that you're serving? Uh, we, we don't give our. Uh, work away for free. Sure, right, sure. You know, but that, it's yeah. it's probably it's a lot less. So they, oh, let's see, they actually pay for my overseas flight uh -huh. on there, and then they host us. Okay. And they give a contribution back to the ministry. Okay. You know that's that's basically their cost. Sure. So, but what we're giving back to them is probably I don't know, at least a hundred thousand. Yeah dollars worth of professional yeah, that's what I was trying to get a per professional services yeah. back uh, yeah. to them that they normally wouldn't be able to really get from and these are you know experts from the West yeah or also also experts from in country yeah, high, yeah. highly skilled folks yeah yes that's, that's good yeah I remember that we had a gentleman that went uh, from vineyard back when we were at the old building that went with you on one of the trips he was uh, an architect as well I think or I wasn't sure what he was an engineer but a professional and he went with you guys and he paid his own way and I thought like that was part of how you guys lower that cost right is right it? right so I think for our folks that are watching this interview if they're professionals in those spaces they could potentially reach out and oh, join you very much so yeah join yes. EMI yes. on More just than like one short-term trip like they don't have to commit to trip after trip after trip they could right. literally go for one and just make it a missions trip yeah that's that's incredible yeah I remember uh, gentleman that did his name was Greg, if I remember. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, fantastic. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so yeah. In fact, on this trip to Ozarks, there's a there's an architect I know very well that's on okay. that trip. Yeah. So, well, and I know from the the work just just doing the work here at the church building, you know, which is much you know smaller stuff. But I just know how much money goes into all of the design plans for for all of that. And so, yeah, that's amazing at EMI brings that cost way down. So that's pretty much the cost is hosting and bringing you over and all that, but it's worth right, hundreds right. of thousands of dollars. So that's fantastic.